Hey friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Amanda Muse, and today I'm gonna to be taking you on a tour of my island in Animal Crossing, and I'm pretty excited to share this with you. Maybe even a little vulnerable, because you're coming to my island. So I'll be using my Switch today with this fun little controller, which you take your, your pieces, your joysticks, it's called joystick pieces? Not really sure. Hook it up to this and you can play. I also have the Animal Crossing's New Horizons game. You purchase this stuff separately. I can get into in another video um, items that you want to purchase if you're interested. I actually have two kids who are seven and nine, so we have a second Nintendo Switch and a Switch Lite, so I'd be happy to share with you my thoughts on those in another video and our complete setup that we have right now because we definitely have a few favorite games. I'd be happy to share those in a later video, so be sure to like this video if you're into this content, subscribe if you feel so inclined. Okay, well without further ado, let's just jump into this Animal Crossing Island Tour. So I feel like I should probably let you know like timelines. So first thing is I am a, gr oh, hold on. You know what? When you see some presents fly by, you stop everything and you go get it. So just stand by a second here. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. There we go. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. So as I was saying, a couple things worth mentioning is that I am 36. I'm a mom of two. I bought my kids some switches at Christmas this year. And after setting them up and playing a little bit, I realized like, why don't I have a switch? So I treated myself and I got myself a Nintendo switch at Christmas. I've actually worked it into my self care. So every morning over coffee, I play a couple minutes of Animal Crossing, like 20 minutes or so. And it's just become part of my day. And I absolutely love it. There's something about it that's super relaxing. So if you are a grown up and you have kids who game, I just feel like I need to remind people that gaming is not just for little kids. You can have so much fun and it's not all shooting and all of that. Like there's so many different types of games that appeal to so many different people. So today I'm sharing my island with you. So here's my house. Oh, like I was saying, I started gaming at Christmas. So since Let's say, I think it was December 26th, I bought myself a Switch. I went and got it on Boxing Day. Um, I've been able to build up my island this far. And I must admit, like I've learned a little bit about my personality where I enjoy the routine of the fishing and the selling and the earning money and expanding my house and buying clothes. But I need to get more into the creative element of the building. So you'll notice that my island is lacking a little bit in that sense. So here's my house. Maybe we'll do a tour of that. At first. Uh, my color of 2021 is yellow, which you might have noticed from my fabulous Frendo shirt, which PS is on sale. So you can check that out at hellofrendo.com. Um, the shop is up and running with all sorts of goodies. So I tried to incorporate some yellow themes. Again, only started playing in December and it takes time to acquire um, all sorts of little goodies for your house. So here is my living area on the first floor. So when you come in and you head to the right, you'll notice I bought a Mona Lisa. That was a fake. Um, we'll get to that in a minute. So there's so many different things that you do on the island, but I feel like this is gonna take more than one video. So here is my bathroom, which I've gone with like this, you know, Scandinavian feel, like a spa or a hot sauna. Um, you know, you got a bathtub, you got a washing machine, a vacuum, various things, some art on the wall. So that is my bathroom. Okay, so living area, I love me some leather sofas. Not everything matches, we'll get there one day, but let's be honest, my own real house doesn't entirely match, so just how I roll. Here's my bedroom. I went with a little bit of a pink theme. And when you get closets and things, this is where you can change your outfit. Today's outfit is very like rugged. We're doing things, we're working in the garden, that kind of thing. But you can head into your wardrobe and change and pick new things to wear. Um, Honestly, it's just so much fun to buy clothes. And I'm always, that's when I try to buy something new every day in the shop. <laughs> So that's my room. And then of course you can change your, your look, right? When you use a mirror. Um, if you already know all of this, forgive the very introductory type of video, but I'm really trying to introduce gaming to people that maybe don't think about it or think it's just for kids. Like it's so fun. So, okay. So that's my room. 
then you head in and like all of these things you customize like you can buy the flooring you can change the walls um you know you can buy carpets there's all these fun things so there is a huge customization element to it here's my kitchen very cute right little things here and there and sometimes you're gifted items like um, like a coffee maker and then sometimes you have to purchase them so now I've expanded my house a few times it like when you first start out you just have like the one room and then you slowly start paying off your house I also have an upstairs and you can get a basement so I'm pretty sure that once you have hit all those expansions that's it this is kind of a catch-all area of little items I've purchased or received I just bought a TV today so that was pretty exciting Cost like 99,000 bells, so that was kind of a purchase. Um, but here's my upstairs. I really liked this wallpaper because of the falling snow, but it's not quite vibing with the spring vibe that has just happened in on my island because one cute thing is that like the island weather tends to mimic your actual weather. So if you're living in Canada and it's you know January, it's going to be snowy, which I think is pretty cute. Uh, I put up some fencing, you know, I've got uh, a little apple tree that I took from my son's island. So your island tends to have a type of fruit. Mine is peaches and I put up a pool and I've got this little, you know, there's some weeds. I hate it when weeds hang around. Um, you know, you, you get certain things and you try to you decorate your island in a way that makes sense visually, but like you can't actually get into the pool. You know what I mean? So I, I got this present. I'm just going to open it up because I like to see what it is. So this present was a shamrock wand. I don't think I have that one yet. So as you're playing, like presents will fall from the sky and you have to use certain tools to collect them. So, okay. And then I did decorate the ground accordingly. Of course, there's going to be a bird feeder. Of course, there's going to be a birdhouse. I love birds. Honestly, while I was setting this up, so many presents flew by my head and I was like, well, I'll wait to open them until I'm actually recording. So what did I get here? A beach chair, a metal can. Cool. Well, let's pop this metal. Let's pop the beach chair over here just for, just to, oh, you know what? That doesn't look that great, does it? Hold on. Just to get it out of my pocket for a minute. Now you don't have to keep everything that you receive. Oh, now it's backwards. You could sell it. You know, there's lots of options. Well, you know what, for now, we're just gonna push it like that and just leave it for now. Okay, so you can fish. That's a fish over in the water there. And there's some friends on my island. All right, so when you come down here, here is my museum. So I'll just take you on a little tour. All right, this guy, you can give him donations and all sorts of fun, fun things like you grow your museum basically. So to the right here, I've got my fish area. Hi fishies. So here's my area and you catch this was one of my pride and joys that I caught You catch things and anytime you catch something new you donate it or you can donate it to the museum um, And it fills up right so you have all these fish that you've caught uh, And then I, I like to always fill up my museum first and then I sell everything else that that comes in Some more fish. Oh, this is one of my other pride and joys. Look at this bad boy that I caught. Hey, oh, that was a very exciting day. All sorts of exciting little, little sea creatures. And that's the thing with Animal Crossing. Like there's something very routine about the repetitive type of behavior or something. I don't know how to explain it, but it's just, it zens me out like crazy. So I just love that. Like sometimes you just need to like, escape and I love reading and I love listening to podcasts but I also just oh hi buddy I also just like to sit down and um play a game like it really it's nice for my brain also it's a little now I didn't catch all of this coral here but like the creatures on the inside I did catch this is pretty fun you can see all the little the wildlife that I've caught here. So I haven't been in here in a while, but oh, that's my one of my newest ones. See that zebra looking fish? So what's interesting is that in this game, like different wildlife and insects and birds and not birds, but butterflies will appear um, at different times of year, which is pretty neat. So like now I'm catching far more of that zebra style of fish. I don't know what the actual name is. So there's a lot more of those. There isn't a lot different types of um, butterflies that are around right now. 
it being spring, um, even like times of day, your fish that you catch will be different. Oh, oh, hello. So everyone's, that was a hard one to catch. So you've got like bees and those little buddies in the trees and all these little things. And you pop them in here. Oh, what's that guy? Oh, a dung beetle. I honestly just love even the lighting in this game. Oh, here's some butterflies. And anyway, it's very fun. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here. There is also, so as you develop, like everything starts out really small, right? You, when you land on the island, you just have like a tent and then you build up and it takes you lots of hours, but very fun hours. Like none of it feels, it doesn't feel like work. And actually you kind of get to a point too, where you feel like, like now I almost want to work on my kids islands to help them build theirs up because there's so much of that type of like just like I have to do all of these things. I don't explain it. It's just these, this game really works for me and it's not stressful. I noticed that my personality can get a little stressed out with some games. Like I, I recently got myself Zelda and I liked it, but I'm not that great at it. And so I feel super stressed out when I play. Okay. So this is like the arts. So this is the art section. And so there's one character that comes to your island in a boat and he sells art and things, but not all of it is real and genuine. So I purchased a Mona Lisa that was fake and now it's living in my house. But I've also purchased these pieces of art, which ended up being uh, genuine. So if they're real, you can donate it to the museum. And if they're fake, well, you're out a couple thousand bells, which is not the end of the world. But you definitely, you feel this pressure to, you know, build up your museum. And then down here are the fossils. So every day when you land on your island, there's like about four plus type of fossils that you would dig out of the ground using your shovel. And so these are all ones that I found. And slowly but surely you build up, um, you know, dinosaur bones or and you complete certain animals. And then like I have a lot because I play plenty and I find that over time you end up getting doubles. And so when you get duplicate fossils, you just sell them in your nooks cranny shop and you get bells for them. It's kind of funny to be doing this video because I feel like, I don't know, my persona on the internet is not one where gaming would be part of it, but it's become such a huge part of my day that I'm like, this is absurd that I'm not actually sharing this with you guys. <laughs> uh, like moms can have fun too, okay? So that's a museum. And now when you set up your island, I mean, you decide where all of these houses go, right? So this is one of my, it's probably my favorite, my favorite little person who lives on my island. She is the cutest. Is she home? Let's, oh, no. Shooting off in the air there. Let's see if she's home. She is like the cutest little character. Oh, she's not home. Okay, so if Alice is around, we'll find her. So like you decide where things get built and I built this park. Um, and then, you know, I always go fishing. This is just like a random thing that was given to me and this random teddy bear. And here's the main, oh, hey buddy, I should, I'll talk to him later. Here's the main, you know, center. Tim Nook is his name, I'm pretty sure. Tom Nook, Tim, whatever. He's a little raccoon. And you go to him and, you know, she tells you about your island evaluation and your, you know, this one talks about developing certain things on the island. So if you want to build bridges or move things, that's an option. This is a recycling bin. There's stuff in there. Um, this is like a little bank. So when you head over here, you can deposit money. You can buy little items. Um, oh, and you can build stuff. I didn't show you the workbench, but on the workbench, you can build tools and you can build furniture and all sorts of interesting things. Okay. So then I also have a house here and you know, as you're developing your own, oh, then this is Nook's Cranny. So this is the little shop where you purchase things and sell things and it's open over a certain course of hours over the day. You can go in there and every day these things, yeah, I bought a TV today up here. You can see sold, um, they follow you around. You want to sell anything? No, thanks. Okay. So then when you come off of the, out of the airport, so if people were coming to visit me, you've got snacks. <laughs> This person, these two guys are fairly new to my island. So anyway, snacks, the shop. Um, I've got a little bamboo forest over here with a little dinosaur. And there's more areas to fish. So we'll head over this way. Okay, so if you were to head, we'll go over this bridge here. Now we have another little area where some of my island guests live. There's one there. 
lots of flowers. Flowers pop up, so you, when you're starting, like you plant flowers, but then occasionally those plant plants just start to flowers part start to get a little wild. There's a butterfly, um, and you kind of have to maintain it. You have to build all of these paths and stuff. So every island looks totally different. Here's my workout area, which I enjoy. Um, you know more beaches. I always cruise the beach. Oh, there's Alice. Okay. Tell me that she is the cutest. Let's say hi to Alice. Oh, she's so cute. I just love her little face. Oh, someone's calling me cupcake. Sure. <laughs> They've been changing my nickname once it was Iron M. I can't remember what the other one was. Oh, here's some money. You can, you can grow money trees and stuff like that. Oh, there's the person selling, um, you know what though? I don't want this tree here, so I'm just gonna knock it down because I find one little thing is every day you can you get like, uh, what's it called? Let's get rid of this tree. Every day there's an opportunity for you to dig up bells, which is your money. And you can bury it to get a tree like you just saw that has money bags on it. And so I wanna buy a carpet, but I'll wait till later. I'm just kinda, and these things you pick up and you collect, right? And you um, you sell them in the shop. All right, so you come around here. Not a lot happening right on the, on the shores. I did build this little kind of beach area, which goes with the campsite here. So occasionally you'll have visitors on your island and I built a little camping area. And I'll just take you to the end here. And you end up building areas that have purpose on your island, like really aesthetic purposes. So here's a cool little, um, you know, lighthouse, which lights up at night. So we'll go back to where we just started here. So you just saw um, this, okay, so over here, we've got the workout area up there. You come down here, I'm not really sure what my plan is, but I have a little sitting area. Um, head up here, again, I'm not really sure what I wanna do with this area, but this is like a little fairground. Um, I recently purchased some Super Mario stuff, so let's see, I'm just gonna pop it here. Place item, it's just cute. And Super Mushroom. Also cute. I've got, you know, very like Mario inspired. So anyway, that's like a little fairground. There's so many flowers and I don't know what to do with all this stuff, so we'll see. I need some inspiration, you know? So you have an opportunity to just be creative and I'm telling you there's some amazing creatives. So here is the shop. So this is where I like to go, Able Sisters, every day. You buy yourself something new if you want. And it's like it fills that like little need to purchase things. I don't know, it's quite fun. So you can walk around and there's Mabel. And you can head into here and like try stuff on. Oh, this is fun. This looks like a, that is such a cute little sweater. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I get suckered into this stuff, I don't even know. Guide shirt, that's cute. That would make sense to wear that today as I take you around my island. Oh, fun shorts. Okay, <clears throat> so I don't need anything new right now. I'll come back later. Not right now, thanks Mabel, gotta go. So then outside Mabel's shop, we've got a cafe. Who doesn't have a cafe? This is like my peony cafe or whatever flowers these are. So you can sit down have tea. And the cute thing with Animal Crossing is people can come and visit you. So right now I've only ever had my kids come to visit me, but um, I have to figure out like how to add people and what that even looks like when they come see you. Occasionally weeds will grow, so you pick those up. Head up here. Oh, here's a fossil, for example. So that's what a fossil looks like in the ground. So I was showing you those inside the museum and you would just dig it up like that. Over here, oh, there's another one, dang it. Oops, whoop, wrong area. So over here, oh, and there's a bumblebee. I kinda wanna catch that. I wonder if I could catch her, let's see. Got her. So this is just an area where I'm planting flowers and what's kind of neat is you can plant flowers sort of near each other and then they'll 
create new colors and new variations of flowers. So like these pink ones kind of develop because there's a red one here and orange ones. And so it's kind of neat how flowers will grow and populate. Or what's the word I'm looking for? Like here's these pink tulips were because I had these red ones and yellow ones close by. So anyway, just an area for plants um, for my flowers to grow. Don't quite know what I want to do in this corner yet, but something cute. Don't know yet though. And then just more flowers on that side. Again, no real plants. So you come over this way. We have a workbench. Um, you do have a workbench in your main little town area, but because you're running around and you're doing things across the whole island, it's nice to have workbenches in a few different areas. So I head over the bridge. You pick up these little branches as you go. It ends up being, you know, tools that you use later on. And you can fish. Um, usually, like right here is where the boat would appear for your friend that comes to visit, and you can buy art from them and stuff. I had used this for festival. There was like this big festival celebration on Animal Crossing in February, so I'd built up this whole area. Yeah, just got it there for now. Not quite sure what to do with this area just yet. We'll get there. So I've got space to create, I just don't know what yet. So on this side, we have a few more friends, a few more houses, um, a little, you know, meeting area. And right, just so I show you where we are, there's the town hall. So hop over your bridge. And these rocks, by the way, you smash those rocks to get things like iron and stone, and, and those are, you know, materials you use to build. So we've got another house here. So this is sort of just like, I just built an area and a lot of entertainment things are here. So music, we got a stereo, guitar, there's, there's Nate. He's kind of a funny character. Um, is there even a fish there, buddy? No. <laughs> so uh, right here I built an area, like a little marketplace. And I've got um, a buddy here to protect my, my turnips. So here's a bunch of turnips I bought. I've sold some because there was a really good price for turnips. Turnips are like the stock market <laughs> in Animal Crossing. So you can only buy turnips on Sunday and then the price fluctuates throughout the week and you try to sell at a high price. Um, occasionally you'll have a person who comes and sells plants and pumpkins. And so you can sell pumpkins um, and make some coin, make some bells. So I like to keep this area protected. So by using a garden gnome, uh, visitors like my children who steal my things can't come in and steal my stuff. So, because you can't get past it unless you're me on your own island. Uh, and then over here, we've got another little beach. Pick up that thing, got a little windmill. Uh, some more, oh, that's a big fish. So let's see, let's see if I can catch him. Oh, changing direction on me real quick. You know what? I gotta move a little. Well, we've had a few of these fish in our time. So this I've caught before, so I'll sell that and you make some bells. So these little bubbles here, you can go fishing. So I'll show you what that looks like because I've now pretty much done the full tour of the island. And oh, I'll put my fishing rod away. Now you can take your shoes off and stuff, but like you don't need to, so woo, <laughs> there she goes. So hop over here as you get closer to the bubbles, you dive down and you can chase your little sea creature and see what you purchase. And again, these things you sell at the shop. Um, for money until you make bells. So I love just like the working angle of this game. It, it works to soothe my brain. So, you know, I joke and say it's like for my anxiety, but truly, if you find, especially as a parent, you don't have to have kids, by the way, to enjoy gaming. But if you just want to take a little break and find some fun, this fits the bill. Like, I've been telling all my friends to go get themselves a Switch <laughs> because it's just like, why not? Why don't, why are grown-ups so, um, why do they resist fun, you know? I don't understand. So I'm all about finding the fun. And I think 2021 has proved that like, sometimes you, one must shift the priorities. And when you're wearing so many hats, working, 
homeschooling, parenting, relationshiping, friendshiping, all these things. I mean, oh, did you notice my swimsuit's yellow? Color of the year. <laughs> so I'll just take off my suit and then I'll just show you. So anyway, so we ended up, we, we were over here, by the way, just on the other side. See, there's Nate. Um, fishing so we swam over here and that's the island so that's it it just looks like cute little island now you can do other things like you can visit other people's islands and there's um you know if you as you're starting your island and you're running out of materials you can visit islands to harvest materials and it's that harvesting element that i really like um one funny thing though is like the shop and this nook's cranny actually close at a certain time of the day and i often find like if i've forgotten to play i'm like dang it I didn't check on my turnip prices. So here, you can check your turnip prices. Ooh, 54 bells is too low. We will not be selling. Oh no, friends. But I do want to sell some other things. So you come in here and you pick items out of your pocket that you want to sell. And my pocket is quite large because I went and you can add, you know, as you play, you have excuse me, you have the opportunity to expand your pocket and buy little add-ons and stuff. And so I think that's good. Not bad, 10,000 bells. All right, I'll take it. And if you wanna buy something, you can. And then I'll be a good little worker bee and I'll put my money in the bank and I'll just show you what that looks like. And I think that will wrap my island tour for today. So you'd come over here. And if you access this machine once a day, you get bonus miles. And so these miles up that you see in the top right corner, you can purchase things with the miles. So I'm gonna right now just use this as a bank machine. So on my house, I have 248,000 bells to pay. So today I will pay, I'll pay 25,000 bells. Cause I like that number to go down. Um, Cause it's fun to like, to be able to expand your house. And I get one more level, I get that basement level. So I'm like really wanting to do that. <laughs> And you can sit down and find out like, you know, you're constantly trying to up your island evaluation. So I think I checked it the other day and my house is at an S evaluation and my island I'm pretty sure is a four. So let's see what she says, Isabel will tell us. Ooh, it's got a four star rating, so fun. And she tells you some feedback. And I find that the way to increase your island is just to put stuff places. So it's weird, like I have a park and I'm like, well, this I got this giant bear, I'll just put the giant bear next to the park. That makes sense. Um, and that is how you increase your island rating is you just kind of fill it full of stuff. And also what's kind of fun is there is this feature that you can try to go to sleep on a bed. So on a hay bed or your own bed. And when you sleep, you can take these little tours of other islands through this dream feature. And it's a great way to see how people have decorated their island. Um, because like I said, I'm not the most perhaps creative in that way. Like I'm such a, I'm like a person of function. And so I'll just save this. But it is a really good way to find out ideas and ways that you can, you know, zhuzh up your island. And that's it, that is Snowy Cove. You can tell I launched my game in December because it was snowy as heck and my island was covered in snow and I absolutely love this game. So if you have any ideas for things I should be building, making, leave them below because let me tell you, I need all the tips. And if you enjoy these types of videos, be sure to let me know, like this video, and I'll definitely come back with a new one soon. All right guys, thanks for watching, bye.